Wolf Blitzer is a piece of work. This one-trick pony of the left is trying again to character assassinate a black conservative. I did a video back when on Wolf Blitzer's cheap tactics of twisting the English language. Here's the clip that I did back when. And Herman Cain is joining us now from Atlanta. Mr. Cain, thanks very much for coming in. Thanks, Wolf. You're doing well in the polls right now, but let me... But let me see what I can do to reverse that. Let me specifically ask you about the African-American community. Why is the Republican Party uh, basically uh, poison for so many African-Americans? Did you catch that question? Why is the Republican Party uh, basically uh, poison for so many African-Americans? What a metaphor. Why is the Republican Party basically poison? Poison? For so many African Americans? Poison? Poison kills! Because many African Americans have been brainwashed into not being open-minded, not even considering a conservative point of view. I have received some of that same vitriol simply because I am running for the Republican nomination as a conservative. So it's just brainwashing and people not being open-minded, pure and simple. That, that's a strong word to uh, talk about your fellow African-Americans brainwashed. Why is the Republican Party uh, basically uh, poison for so many African-Americans? That, that's a strong word to uh, talk about your fellow African-Americans brainwashed. We invited Dr. Ben Carson to join us now from Baltimore, and here he is. Dr. Carson, thanks very much for coming in. Okay. Absolutely. Let me play the clip. Uh, you were on the Sean Hannity show last night. This has generated a lot of controversy, and then we'll discuss. Listen to what you said. Marriage is between a man and a woman. It's a well-established uh, fundamental pillar of society, and uh, no group uh, be they gays, be they NAMLA, uh, be they people who believe in bestiality, it, it doesn't matter what they are, they don't get to change the definition. So it's not something that's against gays, it's, it's against anybody who wants to come along yeah. and change the fundamental definitions of pillars of society. All right, you said that actually on Tuesday to Sean Hannity, and it's causing a lot of controversy. And I want to give you a chance, Dr. Carson, to explain what you meant, because it sounded like you were lumping in gay marriage with basically criminal activity, whether it's bestiality or right. the man-boy love association. Uh, go ahead and explain. Sure. Okay. Well, first of all, uh, let me say that my comments are, are my opinion. They have nothing to do with Johns Hopkins. Uh, secondly... You know, I have always uh, advocated uh, equality for everyone. As a Christian, we have a duty to love everyone and to love them as ourselves. So, you know, I love gay people. I love straight people. So this was really, I think, on, on my behalf, somewhat insensitive. And I certainly apologize if I offended anyone because I was not in any way comparing, uh, you know, gays with people who engage in bestiality or uh, sexual child abuse. Uh, the point that I was trying to making is, make is that there is no group that really gets to have a special dispensation so that they can change the definition of something that was established by God, uh, you know, thousands of years ago and has been a traditional pillar of society. So, you know, I, I feel very bad that people were offended. That was certainly not my intention. Because it and, sounded... Uh, you know, I apologize for that. It sounded, uh, Dr. Carson, like you were lumping in bestiality, uh, uh, pedophilia together with same-sex marriage, and you understand how offensive that could be. I, I, I see in retrospect that was certainly not the intention at all. The, t the intention was simply to say that there is no group and, uh, you know, it's, it's, you, you could pick any group of different things, and I should have picked a, a different group of things to make the point. Uh, but, you know, one of the things I'm learning uh, as I spend more time on television is how to be more artful. And, uh, you know, this is a, a good lesson in doing that. And, uh, you know, the, the basic thing that we were really talking about 
of course, is whether a group has the ability to change the definition of marriage. And, uh, you know, whatever the courts decide, whatever the states decide, whatever the society decides, obviously that's what we're going to live with. Because you're not the first person that lumped in uh, this notion that if there's gay marriage, there'll be a slippery slope. It'll uh, lead to w w what you describe yourself as bestiality or pedophilia and all sorts of other you know, outrageous examples. Uh, there, there have been those examples that have, made be, that have been made before, and, and I assume that's why, off the cuff in response to that question, why you lumped them all together. Is that right? Wolf ignores Carson's point completely. Instead, Wolf goes back to his talking points again and again, despite Carson having refuted them the first time. To Wolf Blitzer, who is bent on being the guy who destroys Ben Carson's good name, getting to the truth is irrelevant. It's about destroying a man who might potentially run for president as a conservative. After Ben Carson has repeatedly made his case that the problem is how marriage is being redefined today, here's Wolf Blitzer's next question to Ben Carson. Well, why not let them have the ability to get married? Uh, because then we're changing the definition. If we, if we begin to change definitions of pillars of society, where does it stop? What, what if in 25 years there's, there's another group who says, I think we should change it again? You know, you have to have some standards. And God has set a standard. Man is the one who likes to change things.